Hi guys, just checking out this new AS2 patch. This is the beta patch in exclusive beta mode, I guess. So not many people have access to this. I can't give this out, sorry, but I'll just go through some of the changes which I've noticed. I don't know exactly all the changes, but obviously this is able spectator button. If I click on this, it'll bring up a new, kind of a new team with spectator. You just double click on that and it moves it um, as a, I guess like joining a team. So really, um, yeah, that's something I actually suggested a while ago. Um, having it as another team uh, with just Fog of War off. Happy Fog of War gets turned off when I join this. Uh, also, down to here, I've noticed under custom, I think it was. No, it was under units. The units, I think there's actually more things you can define. So here, if I expand this, I can actually include or exclude some of these units um so click by groups so heavy artillery um light tanks medium tanks i don't know what arcade is snipers and for some reason you can you can exclude supply if you don't want that um yeah i not you can't doesn't seem like you can change anything to do with um a specific units such as i don't want crusader aa to be spawned i don't want jeeps to be bought seems like it's a whole tree at the moment which is unfortunate. That's the only reason why I would use it. Um, I don't really like this. Um, f like this anyway, though, because users, there's so many different types of hosts out there these days, and they host every kind of setting possible, and it just screws up the balance. And when new players join their game, they don't know what's, ba what's balanced or not. So you have games with 20 King Tigers, and then new players will go, oh, King Tigers are OP, and quit the game and hate the game. So. So more options for users to host bad settings. <laughs> for me, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but it could be fun for, I guess, your combat mock-up sandbox mode. Uh, anyway, so those are the things I've noticed. In options, there's actually nothing new I can notice in here. I know the shaders have changed and things like that, but um, it's also running on DirectX 10. Uh, the graphics hasn't changed yet to be looking to look better for DirectX 10, but um, it is running on it now, which means there should be a slight perf increase for some of you players. So anyway, I'm going to give this a shot. So this is the main thing I wanted to test in the patch, Spectator Mode. So it actually allowed me to start the game with Winterwolf on one of the the actual playable factions, and I was in Spectator Mode. So Winterwolf's playing no one at the moment, and it's let me start the game, which is a bit strange. Might be a bug. But let's see what I can actually uh, do or see when the game loads. And uh, Winterwolf's slow PC. Um, also, I'm not sure if I can test um, test the veterancy changes too after this, but let's have a look. So I've got the preparation time. Uh, it's actually got me currently watching Winterwolf. Ah, look at the right there. That's awesome. You can untick Fog of War. Oh, far out. That's sweet. Okay, so you, how do you, okay, probably I can switch on the user by doing something because basically there's no other user here, so, wow, this is pretty cool. Does he actually, um, can I buy something? No. <laughs> That's awesome. This is what I wanted, exactly. So, uh, Fog of War off, Fog of War on, I can see what he sees. Tick that. Wow, that's sweet. Uh, look at that. Awesome. Untick, and you can see everything. It's great. Um, okay, so there's spectator mode. Looks like it works good, and I'll test the other features. Hi guys, I uh, just loaded one v one map, just to check out the veterancy changes. Let's see what happens when I kill a unit. I suppose. Um, I try this guy here. Ah, veteran C1. See that? Okay, what does that mean? Hang on. Okay, the top left. What if I... So that, see there's a little, um... symbol there. Let's have a look. So I've got veteran C1 on this guy for killing one unit. That was the MG though, so... i do this. Ah, there's a grey bar there on the bottom left. You see there? That goes up. Okay, so maybe about three kills I gain a level. But what happens when I gain a level? 
So I've got two stars on my weapon, remember that. Maybe I gain a star. Veterancy 2. Hmm, I can't tell what actually happened to my infantry. I'll tell you how many... Ah, okay. Ah, okay. 700, so let's say I've got um, health 180. 90 HPM per minute. Okay, let's have a look. Like 180 health, remember? Here's my max. Oh, it says my team's leading. You see that pop up? That's, uh, I like that. I like that. Good for new. Yeah, that's cool. I noticed that went off. Uh, let's have a look. Get killing. Killing. More. More fodder, please. So, um, 180, remember? A few more. Ah, oh, 187, see that? So I gained 7 hit points from the third level, from second to the third, which I'm guessing is okay. That's interesting. What's that? That 22 kills, okay. That's normal. What else can oh, I've got three stars now on my weapon. Okay, so on the third veterancy, you get three stars. One to two, you didn't get that. So, okay, I'm gonna just throw a grenade. Um, can you get ranges? That's interesting here. I want to just see what happens with ranges. Oh, okay, it is MP. That's fine. Okay, 98 hits, um, hit points per minute um, gain as well, so it's actually increased that too. Um, hmm, cool. I wonder if tanks have stats now. Oh, you can actually see the kilometer per hour. Crew efficiency. Okay, look at that, hover my cursor over the tank, it says crew efficiency. Then it says movement speed, reload speed, accuracy, wow. So maybe movement speed gets, this is interesting. Let's have a look. Okay. So I've got seven hit points per minute. Let's have a look. Seven still. Um, still got to gain a level. I might kill him. All right, that's, that's that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. It's, um, it's eight. So I gain eight now. And look, it's one hundred five hit points per minute. If I hover it again, so I gain eight health that time. Still three, but I think per two levels you get a star increase in your accuracy. Uh, is there anything that tells me here what my infantry is gaining? That okay. So what I can tell you is you gain hit points uh, very around seven to eight, depending on the level. Plus you gain accuracy every two levels. So, okay, I think I've nailed it. Let's have a look at this. That's two. When do I get my accuracy? Maybe looks don't gain that. Maybe the tank crew do. I don't know. Hmm. Need more fodder. Need more fodder. Where are you, Rangers? Hmm. Why did why did you take his Rangers? Bloody hell, went off. Where are they? Okay. See, I can't tell my tanks gaining veterancy. Didn't seem like it. Maybe not from killing infantry. Hmm. Maybe they don't get anything from killing infantry. Let's wait. Hmm. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait a sec. Oh, wow. It's faster as well. Far out. Imagine a 
Imagine a tank. It's amazing. Hang on. Hmm. Can you get a v vehicle? Far out. So 12 infantry dead. Accuracy is improved. Reload speeds improved. Far out. That'll be nuts for a Crusader AA. Imagine if it takes out like five guys or five tanks. <laughs> like reload speed will be like M19 reload speed without any reload time. That's insane. Yep. Okay. Bear with this slow video. I'm just working things out in this one myself, so. Um, very interesting. I don't know about the vehicle. I like the infantry changes. Seems like... Mm, it, mm, I don't know if it'll really affect the meta. But vehicle changes, I think it's quite extreme. Okay, still 105, I see. So, wonder how many it needs to kill. That's the question. 110. It's not that many, to be honest. I wonder how much if a tank. I might go low test mode, guys, so I'll just close this game off in low test mode. Okay, got the test mode loaded. Um, let's see how things upgrade. Let's just do a G. Let's see how much it gains for killing something expensive, like maybe um, a Sherman or 76 Sherman or even a Pershing. Um, it'd be super elite, imagine, if it takes out a Pershing. I'm guessing the rate of gain of XP is based on the cost of the unit you kill. Let's have a look. Hmm. That 76, uh... German? Hundred and ten, wow. Okay, one kill... That's a pretty expensive unit, I guess, but... Okay. Reload speed increased by 10%. Sherman? Reload speed increased by 5%. Uh, 115%. Okay, it's not that drastic, I guess. Um, but let's see if I kill a Pershing. That's gonna be... So I'm guessing a Crusader AA. Oh no. Oh, damn it. Why did you spawn that? Oh well. I killed a Jumbo. I gained 10-5%. Alright. Ah, damn you. Why did you do that? Let's try this still then. That's better, thanks. He read my mind. So that's, uh, okay, 5%. So it doesn't, I don't know, it must be diminishing gains. After you gain higher. Because that didn't even give me XP there. Alright, so it's not too bad. So I guess, really the max unit can really get, the level I'm guessing is around 20 something percent, unless it's a superhero. Because I've killed shitloads, you no, you won't get a G or a unit that has 195 score in most games, or pretty much in all games. So it's not too OP, it helps a little bit, I suppose. But for infantry, um, I think it would help, help with the... help a bit more. Ah, tank crew! So here's a tank crew, see the tank crew has the efficiency, wow, look at the pistol efficiency. Right. And now, on second, so let's check this out. If I put this um, guy in here, let's say one of my tank crew has full efficiency and the other doesn't, does it take over and say, oh, 50% efficiency, okay, each tank crew contributes part of the efficiency, so look, oh, wow. Okay, the movement, actually, efficiency is less, but then that's the rest is still 100%. I think 100% for everything is the Minimum. Ah, that makes sense now. So it's half that. It was, 120, it was 25. Now it's 13. Okay, that makes sense. So it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, not sure how it will change things for tanks. I'm pretty sure you know, it probably won't change too many things. But for infantry, I'm hoping it will make people more careful with infantry. Just lastly, I just want to show you performance. I've just tested putting everything on maximum. I've got full performance. I used to get that in the old... Um, or well, the previous patch, non beta one, but not with the water shaders on ultra. So water shaders on ultra now, I'm getting perfect performance. So it has improved performance for me as well.